let's learn how to add vectors by the component method. So, noon, inag-add tayo ng vectors using the graphical method, which is uh, medyo mahirap kasi kailangan mo ng ruler, kailangan mo ng protractor, and also kapag nagkamali ka, uh, hindi, hindi siya accurate na way, no? Unless autocad mo ginagawa. But anyway, we have here another method and that is by the component method. So, bago natin gawin tong example na to, let's talk about uh, vectors of the same uh, direction. Kung are, may dalawa akong vector going at the same direction. And let's say 10 ito. Tapos yung isa ay uh, 8. What will be the magnitude? Since pareha sila ng direction, pwede nating i-add kaagad yung, yung magnitudes nila. So the, the resultant will be 18 units long. Okay? Now yung component method makes use of this property of vectors na kapag parehas ang direction nila and they are pointing at the same direction, we can simply add the magnitude without regards dun sa, sa direction. Makukuha na natin yung resultant or the magnitude of the resultant. So how is that? We have here an example. Add the following forces. Meron tayong uh, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat na forces. 20 newtons due east. 50 newtons due north. 25 newtons. Uh, 25 degrees above the positive x-axis. And 10 newtons, 10 degrees east of south. Gumawa ko ng table para ma-describe yung mga yon. So, eto. This is the force. 20 newtons due east. Pag din-drawing mo siya, Yan ito, 20 newtons. 20 yung haba niya papunta sa east. And then we have here 15 newtons due north. So, pataas, 50 newtons. 25 newtons, 25 degrees above the positive x-axis. Ito yun. And then 10 newtons east of south. So, south direction is pababa, 10 degrees papunta sa east. Ang ginawa ko, Bawat isang force, kinuha ko yung rectangular components. The X at saka the Y component. So una, si 20 newtons due east. Ang kanyang X component is 20 cosine of 0 degrees. At ang kanyang Y component is 20 sine of 0 degrees. Now, uh, kahit hindi ko na-isolve to, alam ko na ang X component ay 20 at ang Y component ay 0. Kasi as I can see, it's purely in the uh, positive x direction. Si 15 newtons naman, purely pataas siya, so I don't expect it to have an x component. So this should be x. Okay? Wala siyang x component dahil purely pataas siya, so 0 newtons ang x component niya. Ang kanyang y component is 15 newtons. Here we have 25 newtons at 25 degrees. Ganun din. Gagamitin lang natin yung relationship natin na na-derive kanina. We have 25 cosine 25 degrees and 25 sine 25 degrees to get these values. Okay? Now, 10 newtons east of south. The direction is pa-south at saka pa-east. So, we have 10 sine of 10 degrees. Bakit hindi cosine ng x component? Tandaan, no, ang definition natin kanina, yung theta natin nandito. Ang y component becomes sine kasi opposite siya ng angle natin. But in this case, may kita mo, yung angle natin is from the vertical. So, yung x niya, yung x component niya, yun ang opposite ng angle. So, siya yung gagamitan mo ng sine uh, function. Yung y component niya ang adjacent doon sa angle. Kaya yung y component ang may cosine function and you will get these values. I also write this components or this forces in vector notation using the components. So, we have 20 
at saka 0. So, 20i hat plus 0j hat newtons. Same here, 0i hat plus 15j hat newtons. And then, we have 22.658i hat plus 10.565j hat newtons. Now, on the last force, 10 newtons east of south, may kita mo, 9.848i hat. Minus, okay? Minus. Bakit? Dahil pababa siya. Tandaan, J hat describes the positive y direction. At dahil pababa siya, you, you subtract it. Or gagamitin mong sign is a negative sign. So, minus 1.736 J hat newtons. Continuing, nung na, nakuha na natin yung components, pagkakuha mo ng components, so nilista ko dito yung bawat forces, we have... F sub 1 hanggang F sub 4 vectors. Ito yon. Now, remember, nakapagparehas yung direction, pwede mo na silang i-add ng diretsyo. Lahat ito, lahat ng X component are in the I hat direction. Lahat ng Y component are in the J hat direction. So, ibig sabihin, itong, itong column na to ng numbers ay pwede ko nang i-add to get 52.506 at itong column ng numbers na to ay pwede kong i-add to get 23.829 J hat. So, ito na yung sum or the resultant in vector notation. At nagawa natin yan by first getting the components of each force and then summing up yung uh, components in the same direction. So, this is the I hat direction or the positive X direction. This is the J hat or the uh, positive Y direction. After nyan, kung interesado kang kunin yung uh, magnitude, we can express our uh, resultant in what we call the polar form. So, ang vectors can have the rectangular component form or the polar form. As you can see here, this is uh, F sub X plus F sub Y. These are the rectangular components. Ito yung ginagamit natin doon sa may I hat at saka J hat. Pag in mo sila, di ba, ang makukuha mo is uh, the resultant F or a single uh, magnitude F at saka an angle from a specified reference. In this case, the positive X direction. This is the polar form of our vector. At from Pythagorean theorem, di ba? Uh, since pag binuo mo yung triangle nito, ito yung Fy, ito yung Fx. From the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse is the sum, the square root of the sum of squares. Yung square ng Fx at saka square ng Fy sum up mo lang. And to get theta, you just use one of the trigonometric function. You can use the tangent. Siyempre, ang tangent ng theta is Fy over Fx. To get theta, you get the arc tangent of Fy over X. You get the arc tangent of Fy over Fx. Or you can get the arc cosine or the arc sine. Any of these three functions is okay. is good enough. Now, balikan natin yung nakuha nating sagot kanina sa resultant. The resultant is in a vector component form. Now, I, I am interested in converting it into a polar form. The magnitude of the resultant force, you can get easily using the Pythagorean theorem. So, the resultant or the magnitude of the resultant is 57.66 newtons. So, in direction natin is theta is equal to arc tangent ng Fy over Fx. And I will get the direction is 24.41 degrees. Pag drawing ko yung resultant natin, it's a vector pointing in this direction, naka-incline ng 24.41 degrees from the positive x direction, at meron siyang haba o magnitude na 57.66 newtons. Pag sinulat ko, ito yun, ito yung description ng resultant vector. The resultant vector is 57.66 newtons at 24.41 degrees above the positive x direction. Marunong na tayong mag-add ng vectors using the components and the graphical uh, notation, uh, graphical method. Marunong na rin tayong mag-convert from polar 
uh, to component at saka from component to polar form. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe!